Welcome to World Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. We have been talking about how to go for gold because only those who intentionally go for gold are going to get gold in the end. Very soon, so many athletes from all over the world, they're going to be competing for gold at the Tokyo Summer Olympics. And only those who, from the start, run in such a way as to win, compete in such a way as to win, only those who go for gold will get gold. And more importantly, in our Christian race, we need to apply this principle because it is true, only those who go for gold will get gold. And that's why Apostle Paul admonishes us in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. He says, in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets first prize. So run your race to win. Go for gold. Many Christians are in the Christian race today. Many Christians have heaven as their hope. However, only those who run as to win, only those who run with an intention of winning, only those who intentionally go for gold will get gold. Only those will get the heavenly mansions and receive their heavenly rewards. And Apostle Paul went on to tell us in that portion of scripture, the things we need to do to obtain gold, to make heaven and to receive our heavenly rewards at the end of the day. Because the sad reality is this. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, not every single person that calls him Lord, not every Christian that goes to church every week and claims to be a Christian, not every single one of them is going to make heaven. Only those who run as to win. That's why this thing is very serious because God wants you to make heaven. God wants you and me to obtain the prize, which is our heavenly uh, reward. And so in verse 25 of 1 Corinthians 9, he told us the first key, Apostle Paul, which I summarized to be deny yourself. You must deny yourself. Secondly, verse 26, that verse, from that verse, the second thing Apostle Paul tells us to do is to keep our eyes focused on the goal, which is heaven. Never let the never let heaven lose your sight. The more you keep heaven in sight, the more you will yearn for heaven and you will shun the sinful things of this world. You will stop practicing sin and you will start pursuing holiness. Now today let's talk about the third and final thing that we see in that portion of scripture that Apostle Paul tells us to do so that we obtain the gold prize. And it's in verse 27. Here Apostle Paul says, he says, like an athlete, I punish my body, treating it roughly, training it to do what it should, not what it wants to. Otherwise, I fear that after enlisting others for the race, I myself be, might be declared unfit and ordered to stand aside. So here is a third key. You must keep training your body. Not only should you deny yourself, not only should you keep your eyes on heaven, but the third thing you need to do as a Christian so that heaven becomes your home in the end so that you receive the rewards that God has intense for you in heaven. You need to keep training your body. Apostle Paul says, like an athlete, I punish my body. I treat it roughly. I train it. I don't let my body do what it wants to do. I make it do what it should do so that I do not be disqualified at the end of the day. You know, even in the natural, I know that you are aware of it. Every athlete in every sport undergoes rigorous training and those who actually stand out, think about it, Michael, uh, Michael Jordan in basketball, also Kobe, uh, the late Kobe Bryant in the same field of basketball, they were all said to have phenomenal training routines, Muhammad Ali in uh, boxing as well. And what about Michael Phelps? He is the most decorated, I mean, he is said to be the most decorated Olympian of all time with 28 medals to his credit and also the most person, to, the person to have received the most gold medals. Michael Phelps has a phenomenal training schedule. He swims a minimum of 50 miles per week. He trains about five to six hours every single day, six days a week. And without a doubt, his training has everything to do with his phenomenal success. His rigorous training has everything to do with being uh, awarded 28 medals, the most decorated Olympian of all time, 
and receiving the most number of gold medals. It just doesn't happen by accident. How much more as a Christian? We need to undergo rigorous training if you do want to receive the gold at the end of the day. Success is predictable. Success does not come by accident. And if you want to be a successful Christian, if you want to be that kind of Christian that at the end of the day hears God say, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of, of your Lord. If you want to be that kind of Christian, you have got to discipline your body. You have got to make your body go through rigorous training just like an athlete in the world does. 1 Timothy 4, 8, Apostle Paul says, for physical training is of some value, useful for a little, but godliness, spiritual training, is useful and of value in everything and in every way, for it holds promise for the present life and also for the life which is to come. So when you give into spiritual training, it's going to benefit you even more than physical training because the blessings and the rewards of spiritual training, you're going to experience it right on earth as well as in heaven. I tell you, swimming 50 miles a week is not going to count anything for eternity. It's going to count for the earth, but not for eternity. And so it has its limits, but spiritual training is going to count for the earth as well as eternity. It is what's going to get you into your heavenly mansion and it's what's going to make you receive your heavenly rewards. Yes, we are saved by grace, but even though we're saved by grace, God expects us that that grace should not be in vain by us laboring in grace. That's what Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, 10, that after you receive grace, you also enter exercise that grace. You put that grace to work. And the way you do it is by embracing spiritual training. And some of the things you need to make your body do is to constantly give yourself to the study of God's word. That's one of the spiritual workouts, the spiritual exercise that you need to do. 2 Timothy 2.15, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you want to be a workman, an athlete, a Christian that is unashamed, you need to give in to the study of God's word. That is one very important a spiritual exercise that you must embrace. And also the spiritual exercise of prayer. That's very, very important. You know, it has been said before that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Another saying says, seven days without prayer makes a Christian weak. All right? So without prayer, you are a weak Christian, just like an athlete without training is a weak athlete. So you need to have a routine of prayer. Luke chapter 21, verse 36, Jesus said, but keep alert at all times. In other words, keep fit at all times. Be attentive and ready, praying that you have the strength and the ability to be found worthy and to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand in the presence of the Son of Man at His coming. If you want to stand unashamed in the presence of Jesus on Judgment Day, if you want to make the rapture, if you want to make heaven, if you want to receive your heavenly rewards, all these represent the gold prize, then my friend, you must be a man or a woman of prayer. That's what's going to keep you strong. That's what, what's going to keep you on point. That's what's going to keep you uh, to be that athlete that is fit and that makes it to the finish line. So these spiritual uh, exercises are going to keep you fit. Never forget, my friend, that at the end of the day, what really matters is making heaven and receiving your heavenly rewards. Jesus said, what does it profit somebody if he gains the whole world, all the Olympic medals, all the gold medals, whatever success you gain is pointless if you lose out on heaven. So don't lose out on heaven. Give into training. Go for gold. You will get gold. You will make heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching, beloved. I do trust you were blessed. If you've not done so, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and so that you can be the first to know when the next episode comes out and follow all my social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. God bless you. <music>